Hello everyone, Jeshaf here back at you with another G-Shock unboxing and review video. Today will be a quick one. This is just a re-uploaded version of an already existing video. Most of you guys already watched this. I'm just gonna re-upload it with my commentary in it. First of all, G-Shock Japan box and also manual 3215 3222 Japan module with Japan only warranty card. So this will be the uh, resin hard case box that you are only gonna get when you buy your G-Shock all the way from Japan. The watch that we are gonna have a look today from the g Glide series, multiband 6 and tough solar version called the GWX-5600C-7JF G-Shock with Scepter Extreme 5600 series where it gonna equip with a tight grab, moon face, tough solar and also multiband 6 at the same time made for surfer. And with that, this G-Shock watch also came equipped with 100 points tight graph setting, moon data, 60 minutes stopwatch with split time, 99 minutes countdown timer, 5 alarm power saving battery indicator, 24 hour to 12 hour format, and also all this good features that you are gonna get out of Wave Scepter Solar G-Shock, this watch will have it. Plus a full auto lights of electroluminescence which gonna glows for about 1.5 or 3 seconds after glow in green colorway. Pretty bright but since this guy came in negative it's gonna be really dark to see sometimes as you guys could see from this video as well. It's pretty tricky unless you view the time at a certain angle then it will very much visible. This series will came in glossy band and bezel, black IP plated button and silver side screws. To match with the overall color team and you're gonna have top solar in black on top of there to match with the g-shock writing and protection in black and dark purple as well same as the g light writings on top of the glossy wash band which is gonna fit very well if you're gonna be surfing on this you're gonna look very very nice and also the fitting on this g-shock watch is really good i could assure you that and this will be the ip plated black buckle with Castle Japan sign below it to match with the buttons and also the band keeper. Now moving on to the back plate, this is all the features GWX-5600C and if you look closely there's the uh, batch number down there as well. Uh, it made in Thailand of course and still 200 meter watch resistant which is really tough and makes this watch suitable for surfers for sports activities and overall I gotta say this is a very nice G-Shock watch and it fits very well to the price of over 20,000 Japanese yen this is I believe to be an upgraded version to the GW5610 if you aren't one of those you most likely gonna like this G-Shock watch as well so this is all the price tag as well if you buy your G-Shock watch from Japan this is what the details that you are gonna get other than that, you can buy this anywhere, the watch is still the same, only the packing art. Anyhow, I believe that is, sums up all the things that you guys should know about this G-Shock watch. Thank you very, very much for watching. This is G-Shock High Fashion Channel, and I'm